Hello everyone, it's Cheryl. I have a really quick um, Dollar Tree haul. I only have eight items I picked up today. Um, I went looking for physician's formula and candles and a few other things. And of, as always, my store never has it. So, um, yeah. This is what I picked up today. I probably should have just called, but especially with the snowstorm we're having... We have really bad weather here, and I think I'm just going stir-crazy because um, Robert brought it to my attention. I am shopping as much as I did at Christmas, and it's probably not a good idea. I've been ordering things online that I didn't, I haven't shown in any hauls or anything. So, anyway, I'll just show you what I picked up at the Dollar Tree. My Dollar Tree finally got the 1-2-3 Step um, Ultimate Skin system that everyone had during the summer. I only picked up, excuse me, the clarifying lotion because if not, I have oily skin and this is just a toner. If I would have bought the face lotion, I would have broke out. I know it. So I just picked this up. I'm going to see how it works. And you get 3.38 fluid ounces for a dollar. So I thought that was a really good deal. I picked this up. I've seen these on like infomercials and stuff like I've seen on TV things and I thought this would be really good because Robert has an e-cigarette thing. Well, it's like a box. It's not even like a cigarette. But anyway, it's mo it looks like a hookah thing to me. Um, but anyway, it has three plugs. So his iPhone, my phone, and the e-cigarette will fit in here. And then we can just turn it so it's not like this big plug thing sticking out of the wall. So we can rest it on um, the table. So I thought that would be cute. Like a good helpful thing. I picked up this. Um, it comes with the tweezers. Eight little, oh, six mini emery boards and a mirror to put in your purse. So, um, if you ever buy tweezers and they don't match up right or they seem to get dull, I just take a, um, emery board and refile them so that they close correctly when you squeeze it together like that. So just a tip, that's what they do basically when you uh, buy the tweezermen and then their lifetime guarantee and you send them back and they resharpen them. They just file it down so I just do it at home. I pick that up to put my purse. I picked up these two um, packs of file folders. They're pink, but the reason I like them is because they're plastic. So they're not paper. They're not going to shred or rip like when you're uh, putting all your receipts and booklets and stuff together. Warranties and all that good stuff. So I picked up two. These only have three in each pack. And they didn't have any blue or anything. I just found these pink ones. So I picked those up for my stuff. I'll be able to tell uh, in the filing cabinet which one are mine because it'll be in the pink. Then I picked up these for my daughter. For when she comes over, sometimes she wears like those fashion boots that she doesn't spray. Um, and sometimes you get snow, it makes your socks wet and stuff. So, I picked these up for her so when she comes over, if she needs to, she can just put these on in the house. They're just um, cheap little slippers from Dollar Tree, but they were, I think they'll work decent for her at my house. For when she comes over and she needs them. So, yeah. And then I picked this easel up. Um, it's a little bent, and when I put it where it's going, I'll fix it. But um, I picked this up. It's just the silver one for a sign that I have on the top of my um, hutch. I bought a while back at Christmas Tree Shop. They had the states, and they had Providence, which is the capital of where I live. And then they had the, the one that says Rhode Island. So when I was cleaning up... Uh, all my candles, I usually store them on top of my hutch, and they hold that sign up. But um, I bought my bookcases and put them together, so they were in the other room in the bookcases. So I needed one of these because I can't find my other easels I had. So I needed another easel to um, hold my sign up. So Dollar Tree, one dollar. And then we used this this weekend, so I went and picked up another one for Robert to give to his mom. He loves poached eggs. I don't like any raw food. I don't like raw meat. I like all my meat to be well done. I don't like raw eggs, runny eggs, five-minute eggs or whatever, poached eggs, whatever you want to call them. 
if the yolk is runny or even a little loose or not cooked through all the way where it's that pretty yellow color, if it's a dark yellow color or anything, I will not eat it. I will not eat it. So, this really does work. You put it in the microwave with, uh, it's a quarter of a teaspoon or something like that of water in the bottom. It's just enough to coat the bottom of the, the um, little pot. And you put it in the microwave, I think it's 20 seconds. Then you wait 10 seconds, then you put it back on for 20 seconds. And it's perfect. And they're not kidding, it was perfect. Perfect, perfect. Then I made the little omelet. Like that. And where's the picture? Right there. And I had put in, you know, like the dry onions that you can buy. I put in those. I ripped up a couple of spinach leaves and some frozen broccoli. Two eggs. It says beat the eggs, then add the ingredients, and then make sure that they're coated. So swish them, the egg over it. We did all that. I put it in the microwave. I did what it said. And the middle of my egg, all in the middle, it was not cooked through. So I was not touching it. I put it back in the microwave. And then I took it back out, and it still was not like cooked all the way through, so Robin ate it. But I guess if I would have chopped it up and moved it around in the pot and then put it back in, it might have cooked all the way through, but I don't know. But what we're going to try this weekend is we're going to try these. He likes those lava cakes that you can buy. Like when you go to Kentucky Fried Chicken, you can get them. Um, when you go out to like Applebee's and stuff, he loves those little lava cakes. Loves them, loves them. So I'm thinking we're going to do this this weekend. Um... So I bought this one to give to his mom. He said that this reminds him of the pottery that she used to have uh, when they lived in Portugal when he was a little boy. So I figured I'll pick it up. She also loves poached eggs. So this is something that he can sh he can read the directions because she doesn't read English. He can read the directions and show her how to do it. And then she'll be all set. Okay, then I went to Family Dollar. I had the 5 off of 25 coupon. And if you have the um, sale paper from this past weekend, if you got the newspaper and you have the sale paper, if you have this sale paper, well, coupon paper, that came in your advertisements this weekend, there's a little tab sticking out that says Family Dollar Circular. It shows you what's on sale at the Family Dollar. And right here, I already cut it out. It was a 5 off of 25 coupon. I can't resist those coupons. So, um, I went to the Family Dollar today. Even in the snow. Yes, I did. So, I found these. And you can't really see it. It's not showing up. But, see, it's glowing. And it actually glows really good um, through here. And I picked up another one. These were originally four dollars, and I picked them up for they're on clearance for a dollar eighty. They only had these two, so that's why I only picked up two. I thought these would be nice on a nice glass pedestal or something in my other room, and that's just on the plastic. Um, so yeah, a dollar eighty a piece. I'm really loving these electronical candles this year. I think they're awesome, and I can melt in my melter anything I want and not worry about um, the candles burning house down or anything. Robert's petrified of that. So, I really do like these. I think they're cute. And a dollar eighty, you can't beat that. So, I picked those up. Then I picked this up. It's from Interiors by Design. And it looks like that. Comes with a mirror. Three LED candles. With little, like, bracelets or whatever on them. That's, like, um, what Yankee was doing. They were selling the jewelry, the candle jewelry, they call it. So, you get the four pieces, the three candles, and the mirror. And it was originally $10. And I got it for 6 So, I thought that was really cute. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I don't know, you know, what I'm going to do with it. But I couldn't resist for 6 bucks. And that's what it looks like. It's really cute. It looks better in life than it is showing up. Um, but, yeah. It's really sparkly. And really, really pretty. And I like it. Couldn't leave it there for six bucks. And um, I don't have batteries in it right now. But I did try them. And they look really pretty when they're on. 
So you can't beat six bucks. So that's like a dollar, dollar thirty three an item or something. So I thought that was awesome. Then I picked up another lamp. I've been buying a lot of lamps. So I picked this one up. This one was originally $7 and I bought one like this but in a gold color at Christmas. And this one was $7 original. It's on clearance for $4.20 for the lamp and the shade. What? I couldn't leave it there for that. So I picked this up. Um, I picked up a lamp at Walmart that was $5.88 and it's a really pretty lamp. It's black and then it has like two... They're plastic, I think, but it's supposed to look like two glass balls over here. And then you buy the lampshade separately. I did buy those, and I did buy the shade, but I'm not really loving it. And this is more plain uniform. I could actually put this on my bar if I wanted to. And the 420 price tag, you can't beat that with a stick either. So I picked that up. Rabbit like Stabber, so I picked these up. Um, they actually were $1.25, and you get 7.2 zero ounces which this thing's pretty heavy for a dollar twenty five and it says contain serving size is eight pieces and it says um five servings per container so you get forty little Starbucks for dot Starbucks Starburst for a dollar twenty five so I picked those up for him then and they had my diet coke on sale for a dollar a piece um limit of four so I had to buy four of course and then I picked up this Chevron, like, zebra top, and it was originally $11, and I paid $4.50 for it, and it's in a, a 3X, or 3 plus, yeah, 3X, and Robert is making fun of me immensely, because he said it just looks retarded on me, and it's just too big. But I did plan on, I think it's so pretty, and I did plan on getting, like, I have some. They have, like, little jewels or stuff on it, and it pinches the back of your shirt like that. And um, it makes the bottom, like, more flowy and stuff. So I was thinking I could just keep this, but, I don't know, he's really making fun of me. Like, yeah. So I don't know. And it's, like, longer in the back and a little shorter in the front. So, we'll see. I never return anything, so I will probably be keeping this. I always say, I'm going to take it back, but I never take anything back. <laughs> then I picked up this skirt. It's from Family Dollar, and it was $4. It was originally $10. It's a black and white striped maxi skirt. And it looks like this. And on the bottom, it just has, like, a blue layer to it it's kind of thin so I don't know if it's going to show up on my phone but you can kind of see through it so I would recommend wearing a slip underneath this yes I'm an old lady I wear slips not many younger people know about slips or if they do they don't wear them anyway but um I was thinking too this would be nice for if you're going to a water park or something during the summer it does have the little fold over the top, but it's long enough that you could actually just use it for like a beach cover up and just pull it up, you know, tall, like high up on you. So I was thinking that was a really good idea. It's really flowy and pretty and so I couldn't I couldn't leave it there for four dollars. They didn't have any other ones or I would have picked them up. So my total For the Dollar Tree was eight dollars and eight forty nine. I don't know what rang up as not having tax on it, because it should have been eight fifty six, but non taxable. Lady slipper. That's weird, because that's not a medicine. I don't know. Okay, so it rang up my with my tax. It was eight dollars and forty nine cents. And then the stuff from the Family Dollar after coupon was twenty two fifty five, and then with tax a dollar nine, it was twenty three dollars and sixty four cents for these two sets of candles. Well, the two LED candles, the lamp, the top, the skirt, 
the candy and those candles over there plus four bottles of soda so i thought that was a really good deal um thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it my little haul um it's so horrible here it's snowing every day it's depressing um we had issues with the car today because of the snow and the weather the car was telling us that we needed to go to the dealership immediately because we had no tire pressure that the tire was completely flat and i don't know if it's in other cars but in the car we have um the tire will reinflate if you get a flat so that you can drive on it so um the car was telling us to go see the dealer because we were having engine problems the tire was flat the Q, which is the brain inside the car, I don't know if anybody's familiar with that, but the touch screen thing that runs the car, basically, um, was acting crazy, telling us it was 57 degrees out, and all kind of stuff was going on. The satellite radio wouldn't work, so the car was just nuts. You go to the dealer, and the dealer's like, yeah, your sensor on your tire thing um, is frozen, so that's why it's saying that we had a flat and we didn't have a flat. Uh, the queue, they were saying basically because underneath the car was all frozen and stuff and the top of the car was frozen. The sensors for everything was like all messed up because of the ice. So they fixed that and then the satellite, we had a cold satellite radio for them to fix, like resend the signal and stuff. And yeah, it's just been issues with everything over here because of all the snow. Um, school cancellations. Packages not arriving when they're supposed to or early. Um, Robert having issues. He works for FedEx and drives the double trailers. Once there's so much ice or the temperatures get below a certain degree, he's not allowed to drive them. So it, every day it's a new adventure. So I just want to say if you live in a warm place, appreciate it because you don't know what you're missing over here. We have snow that's piled up as high as um, a story. You know, a one-story building. Yeah. The snow is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. And then as soon as you clear your sidewalk, a plow comes by and smashes it all back in. And then you got to dig it all back out. Um, it's just a mess. It's just a mess. I feel bad for people that do not drive. I don't drive. But people who do not drive and do not have people do not have access to a car that are taking little kids on and off buses or even like the school buses and everything because it's so bad and it's been so cold and so bad that they've been canceling school right along so in june the kids will be in school probably most of june all right i hope you enjoyed my haul have a great night i'll talk to y'all later ciao